Holy cow! Wow! Oh man! Wow, that's a big fat cool point right there. He looks like he's got a problem. Look at him. All right, we're out here on our very first stop of the day with Matt Griffin. What's up, buddy? Hey, Greg. Prime Lawn, do not let the name fool you. You're gonna change that name soon, right? Right. <laughs> so what's this project we're looking at today? So it's a little bit unorthodox. It has a uh, bottom filtration on the front, really? floating deck. Oh. No skimmer. Floating. How old is this water feature? Seven, eight years old. What would a project like this go for? Uh, about 70,000. 70,000? I hear it. I don't see it. Oh, I do see it. And what I love about a water feature that's been here for seven years is look at the landscaping. And that's the thing, it looks nicer and nicer every single year it gets grown. How are you doing, boys? And there's the the pond, pond guy, Greg Whitstock. Uh, Clay Hemphill. Hey, Clay. Nice to meet you. Nice what to meet you. a unique property you have. Thanks, we like it too. You must be a creative guy. Actually, my wife is. Okay, okay, that, it's always the wife, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, it was in this case anyway. Oh, look at the fish. Fish are huge. Okay, I don't want to go anywhere else. I just want to hang out here. You got some coffee? We can just take sit back here. Dining Look room. at the size. Yeah. That is gorgeous. I love, love, love the moss. I'm from out in West Texas, and we bought, brought back a river uh, log. Uh huh. And uh, put it in there. The moss was on that log. And it spread. And it started spreading out everywhere. It's beautiful. Yeah. I would have to say mm -hmm. this is the most unique water feature wow. that I've seen of all That's of right. my tours and all of my visits. This that is, is wonderful. That's spectacular. Wonderful. And you are loaded with fish, but look at that water quality. Wait, it goes more? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, walk, walk over here. I'll show you. Cool property. Wait, 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 wait. This is what started it all, that little fountain? Yeah. Did you hear that? That fountain is what started the whole thing. This is what happens. Most people start with one water feature and do two and do three because water is so addictive. Yeah. I love the different elevations. Mm -hmm. So it actually does roll into here. Yeah. Okay. So it's all one it's all feature. One wow. And the plants, my gosh, they're so thick. Look at the horsetails over there. Yeah. That would be end of summer for us <laughs> in Chicago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Explain how this works, Matt. So there's a there's a vault and the pump. And what, what what size pump or do you have pumps it's, in this? It's a four to eight thousand. Okay. Four to eight so thousand aquifers. This, aqua this mm -hmm. pump pumps strictly back to the the uh, urn up there. Okay. Uh, the, the, yep. Uh, the, and mm -hmm. it just spills back over and it recirculates back into here, so it eliminates the skimmer and also yep. um, makes it a little bit easier to maintain a larger feature. What do people that come into your yard for the first time say? They react like you did. <laughs> and I'm never, the they guy. Don't, Everybody loves it. Yeah. They stand, uh, everybody that comes over here uh, stands there and watches the fish and just amazed at them how big they are. Yes. But this is our first stop. I mean, we just flew in last night. Okay. And this is the very first one. And we walk in and we see the most unique water feature I've been able to chronicle so far. Wow, that's great. That's great. There's my wife. Oh, okay. There's the, there's the genius, huh? Yes. Let's go meet her. Hey, how are you? I'm giving you a high five. This is awesome. Your, your husband said you are the brilliant one. That, uh, Actually, I'm with not at all. Matt. <laughs> all right. Don't give him any compliments. No compliments for Matt. But this I have... just wanted it. Okay. I grew up around koi ponds. Yes. And had always wanted one. Okay. Initially, I wanted. But you it wanted over to, there. you you designed it closer yeah. to the house, yeah. right? Fine. Yes, mm -hmm. I have had cancer several times, so mm. I was wow. worried that if I went, um, got sick again, I wanted to be able to see the fish from every room. Yes. So he designed it where I can actually see them from every room in the view house. View from inside the house is the most important. Everywhere. And how's your health? Good. 
great. You look fantastic. Thank you. And you love your water feature, and this is I part of your therapy, right? Love it. Love it. Love it. Everyone loves it. That's cool. Even your grandkids. I have to tell you, though, when I was building it, I said, well, you know, you'll get down there and you know, do this, that. She said, no, 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 I'm never getting that pond. Uh -huh. well, I get it all the time. Like, two <laughs> weeks after we finish, she's in the pond. Yep. So what would you say to anybody who is considering putting in an aquascape ecosystem water feature? Oh, I would do it in a heartbeat. It's one of the best investments I think you can ever make. Look at this edge. You've got parrot feather, you've got arrowhead, it's already starting to bloom down here in Texas, I'm jealous. But this little edge where you soften up, that, where you don't know where the water ends and the land begins, it's not rock. There's no rocks that you see in that. That's a beautiful, that's about a, as perfect of an edge as you can have right there. It's the last 10% that makes all the difference. And something like that, the way those parrot feathers and the um, plants soften up the edges is super important to naturalize a water feature. Can't wait to see the next stop. Right. Let's go, buddy. Second stop of the Second day, stop huh? Second stop of the day. This pond is uh, two years old. It's actually the third pond in, on, on, on this property. What? Uh, yeah. So typical. So, <laughs> so this is the biggest water feature they've got then so far. Yes. Small, bigger, bigger. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow, that's a big, fat, cool boy right there. He looks like he's got a problem. Look at him. He does. He does. He's got a swim <laughs> swim bladder problem? Yeah. Very nice. Wow. So I'm assuming that they have the aquascape pressure, pressure filter pressure from filter. their last pond. Yep. You just might as well yep. just keep it on this one mm -hmm. too. Yeah, the, the first pond was uh, about three by three and it was there. Um, the second one was four by four and they wouldn't go any bigger and then finally I talked them into moving everything over here and really wanted to put it in the middle but this is the best option. Water's a little waterfall. Listen, listen to that sound. It just changes the space. Yeah. Totally changes the space. All of these fish were in the original pond. Yep. And as we made it larger and larger and larger, it's yeah. something a little bit different. So, you know, slabs over it. And I, I, a nice, firm yeah. landing point for them to feed them. This is great. In and we saw that white koi yeah. and I think he's got popcorn disease. You can mm -hmm. see his scales kind of popping out, which is a virus right. that gets into him. You can try salt. Usually they don't survive that. Yeah. How long has he been like that? You uh, know? Ever since we came in and moved the first time. So a year ago? Two years? How uh, long ago? Two, uh, three years ago. So he's lived that way the whole yeah. time, which was interesting too because we saw him roll himself up in the string algae, mm -hmm. which is something that you and I have never seen yeah, before. I mean, and I think it's probably because He's got a swim bladder problem and he uses the algae, the string algae that's on the bottom to hold him down so he doesn't have to try to swim down because when we first came here, he was up on the surface. Yeah, and he'll get up in the plants over there and just sit. And he's so. lived that way for three years. Mm -hmm. How long did this water feature actually take to install? I took a day and a half to install. Um, a day and a half to make a lifetime of difference. It doesn't have to be like that first one we saw, a right. giant and dramatic. I mean, yeah. something like Simple. this, anybody, I've never seen a yard that couldn't have a, a water feature. Yeah, grandkids sit right here, put their feet in, they get in there easily, get in and out. Yeah, good, good work, man. completely different type of water feature, total different energy than the last one, but equally as cool. Right. I yeah. love it. And uh, you know what, that just shows that you can put an aquascape ecosystem in pretty much anywhere, and it doesn't have to be a giant, yeah, expensive simple, thing. All right. Enjoyable. Well, it's our second stop, I love it. Hey, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. 
and follow along as we travel with this guy all through Texas. And I'm the five guy. <laughs>